Love Squad. It's your girl, you're right. Back with another YouTube Takeover. Hey, YouTube Takeover. Hey, so today, y'all, what we're going to be doing is right now, top five songs of 2020. But first, let's get into these clips. Hey guys, it's your girl Uriah Love. Make sure you catch me on YouTube every Wednesday. Hey, YouTube Takeover. Hey, YouTube Takeover. Hey. I know what we're all thinking. Why am I in the bathroom? <laughs> the reason why I'm in the bathroom, guys, is because I actually have some new lights coming for next week's episode. So this time, I'm going to use the bathroom lighting because... It looks good. So now let's get into these songs. So guys, I'm actually going to be doing like late 2019, early 2020 because 2020 just started and it's already March, y'all. And so since 2020 just started, I'm also going to do some of the popular albums from like the end of 2019. All right, guys. So number five has to be Queen Naja's Butterflies Part Two. The reason why is because the song was amazing. But then when I watched Clarence NYC react to it, not gonna lie, it did something to me. But it, it definitely brought tears to my eyes. But Butterflies one, Butterflies, just Butterflies, has to be my favorite still because, I mean, it's the original. I've always liked originals better than like part twos, except with High School Musical. High School Musical. Two and three were amazing. One, not so much. But anyway, back to Queen Naja. I feel like Butterflies One is what set Butterflies Two on the path. And Butterflies Two, I feel like she really put her all and soul into it. And I really like songs that put their all and soul to it. So that definitely has to be number five. All right, guys. So a lot of my friends always say like I like sad music. I don't think it's sad music. I think it's the mood music like i'm never really sad but it's like something about the song makes me feel what they're feeling okay so number four has to be rod wave heart on ice that is on replay on my playlist i know it's on my playlist at least five times because that is my song heart been broke so many times uh -uh. don't know what to believe <laughs> so that definitely has to be number four because I don't feel his pain, but I really like the beats and I like the words and how he puts them together. So definitely number four has to be Rod Wave, hard on nice, hard on nice. <laughs> so number three, number three has to be Summer Walker's That, that was amazing. When I first just heard her by herself, I was like, okay, Summer, okay. But then she added Usher. The original person who used the beat and some of the words that she used. So I'm definitely so glad that she put him on her song, which is actually kind of his song. But yeah, I really like, I feel like it's really, I really like the beat. Let's just get to the point. I really, really like the beat because I feel like it's kind of old school. But then it has like some new basses that brings it new school. So it's like middle school is where you stand. But definitely be number three featuring Usher. All right, guys, so number two, number two has to be Flo Millie in the party. If you watched my birthday story, we played that song like 50 million song times. And so my friend Kai, she thinks I have an obsession with the song, but I disagree. I just really like the beat in her la, 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 la. That is my part always always will be my part so Flo Millie in the party has to be number two whoa <laughs> I have another number two so it's kind of like a bonus number two it's called OMG by Young Men if you guys don't know that song it is such a good song I really like it I really like the words well they don't relate to me but I really like the words and I like the beat Mostly music for me is about the beat, so most of the songs I really just like for the beat, but some I like for the words and the beat. So, all right guys, so last one, number one, has to be Roddy Rich, 
high fashion. Hands down, one of the best songs of late 2019. One of the best songs of that year, okay? And still kind of 2020. So, Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich is amazing. I love Roddy Rich. And my friend Kai loves Roddy Rich. And so we both love him, but high fashion, high fashion is on a different level. I really like that song. It's really amazing. The words and the beat. I told y'all I like the words and the beat. Is it okay if I call you my brother, babe? I ain't no player. I just got a lot of it. But let me tell you, I like you a lot, babe. So that definitely has to be number one. Big announcement, guys. Starting today, March 4th, until March 16th, I will be doing a big contest. It's basically if you buy more than three of my seasonings or more than three of my shirts, your name will be put into a hat. For then on the 16th, we will be pulling a name and that name I will either get to come cook for you or I can teach you how to cook. So please make sure if you buy more than three seasonings to make sure that you leave your information down below so we can put your name in the hat. That's all y'all today make sure you come subscribe like and share this video and don't forget about the contest anyway i love y'all here too